the Paul Report with Brett Levengood and Blake Jarvis. Good morning, O&J Roberts. This is the Paul Report. I'm Blake Jarvis, and with me... Uh, the uh, up air situation up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I decided to try yeah. something new, you know, keep things fresh. <laughs> something new, yeah. Do you like it? No. I'm kind of offended. Yeah. Offended. Good morning, Ellen J. Here's the Paw Report. Have you been eating healthy lately? I sure hope so because this month is American Heart Month. This month is dedicated to the recognition of nationwide heart and vessel disease in America. You can show your support by eating healthy and exercising regularly this month. For more ideas on how to stay healthy, visit the American Heart Association's website at www.heart.org. Now let's go to Mike Venzial in the Skybox for a sports update. Mike. Hi, I'm Mike Venzial up in the Skybox for this important weekend in sports. Starting off tonight at 6 o'clock, the wrestling team will be facing off against Council Rock South in the quarterfinals of the district duels. This will be at Upper Dublin High School, and the Wildcats are sure to face some solid competition. But as they've proved last week against Springford, when they beat the Rams 52-8, to they can easily handle the elite teams in the district. Also, this Sunday, the most watched television sporting event in the world will be taking place as Super Bowl 46 will pit the New England Patriots against the New York Giants. This is a rematch of Super Bowl 42 when the Giants upset the undefeated Patriots. Eli Manning, quarterback for the Giants, is looking to take his second trophy in four years, and Tom Brady on the Patriots will be looking for his fourth in a decade. But if football's not your thing, there are always the commercials to look forward to. For sports, I'm Mike Venziel. Let's kick it back to Brett and Blake. Thank you, Mike. One quick announcement. All high school girls interested in trying out for the spring softball team should attend a mandatory meeting after school on Monday, February 6th at 2.20 p.m. in room 124. Contact Coach Kirby with any questions. On the topic of sporting, the winter sports season is coming to a close, and we decided to give the boys basketball team one last challenge. Matt, roll it. What a killer game of hoops. It was rad, Blake. Mm. Well, if there's one thing you know, it's that PowerPort always wins. Well, the yearbook committee sends wants to give your very own copy. This year's ledger can be purchased at the discounted price of only $69. You can buy the ledger online at jostensyearbook.com. If you do not purchase the ledger now, you'll be forced to pay the full price in upcoming weeks. And this is what happens when we don't edit our writers' stories. <clears throat> Yesterday was Groundhog's Day, and Punxsutawney Phil was scheduled to make an appearance as always. He came out, and he saw his shadow yesterday, predicting six more weeks of winter. But judging from the past couple of weeks and days, it doesn't look like Mother Nature fully agrees. You know what? What better way to close off the show than with adorable pictures of babies? This is why... I can agree with you more. And with that, uh... Mark, I can't believe he's missing out on this, because I mean, this is truly magical. This yeah. is a segment we like to call Babies Dress That Stuff. Look at them. And how can you not love it? It's cute. Great way to send you off on your day. Owen Jay, take care. Have a good day. <laughs>